the YouTube diecast series. Come on. More details coming soon. But for now, welcome back to We Race Diecast and the DNQ Hatchbacks Tournament. 32 hatchbacks that didn't qualify for the main event have competed here on Clutch Mountain, and it comes down to this. It's time for the final eight to battle for the DNQ title and the pink slips to all 32 cars. This is just the beginning though. The main event for the hatchbacks is gearing up to kick off. 72 cars, three tracks, four rounds, and prize packages for the winners, sponsored by Merch by Meekin. Show them some love, link in the description. We are at the semifinals. Top two from each group will advance to the finals and then compete for the title. Let's get to it. Here we go with semifinal group one. We got Jaden Jeffrey from Triple B Racing in the white Mercedes, Poppy from Mr. Christie Racing in the red Mercedes, Iron Man from Irons Diecast Racing, also in a Mercedes, and lastly, Rusty from Rusty Krusty Diecast in the Lone Ford Focus. Poppy and Jaden up front for race one, Rusty and Iron Man in the back. Jaden jumps out the gate, but Poppy able to beat him through the turn. Iron Man goes under Rusty in turn two. Poppy gets loose and Jaden slams into him. Rusty on the outside will get around all three of them. And Rusty will pick up the win. What a way to kick things off. Just when it looks like it's gonna be all team Mercedes, Rusty comes in and takes advantage of the situation. Talk about right place at the right time. Unfortunately, Poppy will pick up a DNF. We'll have to see if the Red Benz can bounce back from that. Luckily, Top 2 will advance to the final, so it's a little less cut and dry compared to Round 1. Let's see if Poppy can make his way back into this. Race 2, Jaden slides into the pole with Iron Man on his side. Poppy in the back with Rusty. Jaden clears Iron Man, but Iron Man looks on the outside and gets around. Spins backwards, but that doesn't slow him down. This time, all team Mercedes is able to finish ahead of the focus. Iron Man picks up the win. Technically, there is no team Mercedes. This is an individual tournament, but the A-Class Mercedes-Benz has been very solid here on Clutch Mountain. If I were in the main event for hatchbacks, I would definitely have that in the back of my mind. Points so far are close for the top three. Poppy now in trouble with two to go. He needs to get some more points on the board. Iron Man and Rusty up front, Jaden and Poppy in the back. Iron Man gets out front first, and Rusty goes on the outside this time. A lot of action on that second straight tonight. Iron Man tries to look on the inside, but gets shut down. And Rusty will pick up his second win, followed by Iron Man, Jaden, and Poppy, who just can't get it going. Iron Man a little loose on the second straight, and Rusty steals his move with that outside pass. Both Rusty and Iron Man in control with one to go. Jaden still in striking distance, and Poppy officially out of this one. Final race, Rusty and Poppy up front, Iron Man and Jaden in the back. Top two and points get out front. Iron Man in the wall and Poppy goes on the inside. Jaden almost gets around as well. Rusty a little loose and Iron Man takes back second from Poppy. He makes a run on Rusty and it's close at the line. Not able to get there in time, but it doesn't matter. Rusty and Iron Man are moving on to the finals. Great performances from Poppy and Jaden, but it looks like their run is over. Here's another look at our first two finalists, Rusty from Rusty Krusty Diecast and Iron Man from Irons Diecast Racing. Stay tuned, semifinal group two is happening right now. Semi-final group two, we got Wes Cosin from Miniature Car Racing in the Honda Civic, Yo Daddy from Res Wheels Racing in the Red Subi, Macheri in the CRX, driving from Team Willie Make It Diecast, and VV sent in from We Race Diecast teammate Shy Thomas. 
Race one, we got Yo Daddy and Wes up front, Vivi and Macheri in the back. Yo Daddy with the early lead at a turn one. Vivi lets Yo Daddy know she is right there. And they finish Yo Daddy, Vivi, West Cosin, and Macheri. Relatively clean race. Yo Daddy will snag the extra point for the win, but it's still anyone's group at this point with three more to go. West in the pole this time with Macheri on his side, Yo Daddy, and Vivi in the back. West smoothly gets around turn one with Macheri right behind him. He zooms out of frame and the back three follow single file to the finish. Nice clean lap by West Cosin in the Honda Civic. That win will boost him up to tie for the lead with Yo Daddy. Vivi and Macheri both three points back. Need to make something happen with two races to go. Macheri and Vivi get their chance with a front row start in race three. Wes and Yo Daddy in the back. Outside lane storms out front. Vivi extends her lead. And Vivi will take the win, followed by Yo Daddy. Oh, and Macheri is sideways. Wes nudging her along and able to get by for third. We have seen this happen time and time again with the CRX. It has the shortest wheelbase of all the hatchbacks in the series. This makes it a lot easier for the CRX to get loose and sideways. Macheri all but eliminated four points back behind third and second place. Top three all within a point. One more race to see who else will make the finals. Let's go. Vivi and Yo Daddy will get the advantage up front, Macheri and Wes in the back. Tight battle to the turn, but Vivi blasts out front. In two races in a row, Vivi is gone. Don't let that one get out front on you. Vivi picks up the win, followed by whose daddy? Not my daddy, Yo Daddy. Camera finished for third, but it won't matter. Yo Daddy and Vivi make it to the finals. Nice runs for West Coast and Macheri to make it this far, but it's Vivi and Yo Daddy that will join Rusty and Iron Man in the finals. Let's get to it. The finals are right now. No need for introductions when he got music like that. Let's get to it. Race one, we got Rusty and Vivi up front, Yo Daddy and Iron Man in the back. Real close to the turn, but Rusty will get out front. Yo Daddy and Vivi getting into it. Oh, and Yo Daddy falls back. Vivi and Iron Man waste no time getting around. He must have skidded on that inner track barrier. Great start for Rusty who will pick up the win, followed by Vivi, Iron Man, and Yo Daddy. Not common to see slowdowns in turn four like that, but Yo Daddy must have rubbed that inner barrier just right, slowing him down and making way for Vivi and Iron Man to slingshot around. Not the start he was looking for, but we still got three races to go. Race two, Iron Man joins Vivi up front. Rusty falls back with Yo Daddy in the back row. 
Iron Man gets up on the wall out of turn one, and Yo Daddy goes inside on Vivi. Turn two has gotten a lot of action tonight. Iron Man on the wall again, and Yo Daddy's on the wall, but they all finished correctly. Whoo, that was close. Another missed opportunity for Yo Daddy. If he could have avoided getting on the wall, it looked like he had the speed to make the pass on Iron Man. In any case, Iron Man takes the win, Yo Daddy in second, Vivi and Rusty in the back. Points are real close with Iron Man on top with seven, Yo Daddy at the bottom with four. He needs to get it in gear if he wants a shot at winning this thing. Can't afford these mistakes. It's all or nothing this round. Iron Man with the points lead will start up front, Yo Daddy on his side, Vivi and Rusty in the back. And Yo Daddy able to win the race to turn one, Iron Man gives him a subtle love tap though. Real tight going into turn five, Yo Daddy up on the wall again and Iron Man gets around. Vivi tries to get around and get sideways, blocking Yo Daddy, and Rusty able to get by both at the line. Cracks Vivi but still able to finish ahead. Dropping from first to last in the back half of the track. Yo Daddy sitting at five points is officially out. Vivi back at seven, hasn't been able to get it going. It all comes down to Iron Man and Rusty, but Iron Man with the three point advantage. Rusty has to have the perfect race if he's gonna challenge Iron Man for the win. One to go. This is it, the final race. Yo Daddy and Rusty up front, Iron Man and Vivi in the back. Rusty trying to get out front, but Yo Daddy at the last second turns it on. They start to spread out. Yo Daddy flirting with the wall again, but holds on this time. Rusty not able to make the move. Yo Daddy finally gets his win, and that will wrap it up. Iron Man will win it. Not quick enough around turn one, and he needed that in order to at minimum tie with Iron Man. But hell of a performance from the entire group. Tonight, Iron Man is the DNQ Hatchbacks Tournament Champion. Team Irons for the win. Congratulations. As a trophy, Team Irons will take home the pink slips to all 32 DNQ cars. How about that? What a series. Thank you everybody for sticking around to watch. Don't go anywhere. These DNQ cars are just heating up the track for the main event. But only 16 of the 72 hatchbacks that qualified will make it here. Stick around to get a sneak peek at all 72 hatchbacks. Congratulations once again to Team Irons and Iron Man. Thank you for watching the show and the series. We'll see you next time first with Picks for Pinks Event 3 and then the start of the hatchbacks main event.